taxpayers being urged not to overlook a looming payment deadline owing to summer holidays. Otherwise, we might face a fine. Jasmine Bertels is a personal finance expert from moneymagpie.com. Good morning to you, Jasmine. Hello there. Hello. So this is this is self-employed people. But of course, there mm. are around five million self-employed people. Well, exactly. And, and this is something we were talking about, as you know, with, with the budget when they were uh, trying to uh, make self-employed people like you and me uh, pay a bit more, pay, pay a bit more tax, pay a bit more in national insurance, basically. Um, and there are a lot of us. Um, and, and also there are people who may be employed, but they also are renting out a flat, maybe, or they're doing, they're taking part in the gig economy, selling a bit, of, you know, doing a bit of extra on the side. And, and is that things like all, Airbnb, Jasmine? Yeah, Airbnb, or you could be renting out your your flat full time, of course. But yeah, gig economy is Airbnb, or maybe you're an Uber driver in the evenings, or you know, maybe you're you've got a little business on the side selling stuff through eBay. I mean, as a business business, not just selling your junk. So there are all sorts of ways that people could be self-employed, even if you're employed as well. And um, as you know, that with self-employed people, you have to pay tax twice a year. The big one, the one that we all go, oh, no, just after Christmas, is uh, 31st of January. But then there's another payment that comes up 31st of July, just where we're all thinking about holidays and, you know, anything but tax. And the problem is, if you don't pay it on time or at least pay something, um, then you get you get a fine. And if you don't pay the full amount, then you'll be charged interest on, on what you haven't paid. Could you, assuming you hadn't sorted yourself out, could you just, if you had the money, bung the money over and then any money left over you could sort out later? Well, there, there is a way um, to do it. Um, you can, what you, because, well, you, you and I know what it's like, but the, the tax that you pay now is based on, on your earnings last year. And many people who are self-employed, you and I certainly, have, will have a good year and then you'll have another such good year. And, of course, you know, it, it often happens. You had a good year, so that means that your tax is higher. And then when you come to pay it in July, that happens not to have been such a good year. So it is possible that you can go into your online account and select something called Reduce Payments on Account. Um, and you need an estimate of, of what you expect to earn in this, this year, this tax year, that's April to April, um, and the payment will be reduced. Um, and so, you know, if you, the thing is that it, that, that can, can be useful if, it, if you genuinely do think that you're going to have a, a quieter year this year. The problem will happen is if you suddenly do quite well, thank you very much, from September onwards, then your tax bill, the next tax bill, will be much higher because you haven't paid so much this time. So, you know, you have to kind of weigh up the two. Swings and roundabouts. Yeah, mm, yeah you know what it's like. No, I know. Well, it is. It is, it is annoying about this, mm. but what they call paying on account. Exactly. That, and that's what it is, paying on account. And it took me years, as because I've always been freelance. I've never never had a job. I'm basically unemployable, I think. Um, and, <laughs> you and me both. Um, yeah, it took me years. Let's go and start a commune. Yes, yes, let's do that. <laughs> um, but, you know, it took me ages to, to work out that actually I, I should really set aside, uh, I should set up a savings account and every month put a certain, I mean, even 10% of, of what I earn, you know, put it aside. Or, or just, what I tend to do is I'll put lumps aside. But, oh, yes, that's, I've done quite nicely that. I'll just put a lump in. So that by the time it comes, and it's January that's the worst one, you know, to, mm. by the time it comes to January, I don't go, oh, I'm going to have to use my credit card or something like it that. It does seem um, very cruel that the tax is due in January. I yeah, do I think it was much nicer yeah. when it was just April and, eight, and, yeah. and that was it. Rather yes, than this. that gave you, yes, yeah. yes, exactly. I mean, the, the, the problem is, I suppose that what they're trying to do is make it easier for us by doing half and then half rather mm. than one big lump. But yeah, April is kind of nicer because you've got a few months to recover from Christmas and New Year and everything. And by that When time, nobody got... pays your bills and, and, yeah. and that, that, that's the problem is it comes mm -hmm. just when, when lots of money is being owed to you and you haven't... Mm -hmm. And you haven't had enough time to sort it out yourself. Jasmine, thank you very much. That's Jasmine Bertels, personal finance expert from moneymagpie.com.